Welcome back. We're exploring the third realm. I keep wanting to say age. Which is Julston. Which uh, doesn't look uh, nearly as nice as St. Andrew did. And so far all we found is a lot of closed doors. And things without power. There's a track. Maybe I could just walk along the track if I jump. Well, A, that's pretty high. And even if I don't hit the rock, I'll fall in that water, which looks like it might actually be worse. So, yeah, no. Also, I don't much fancy trying to walk along these narrow tracks for however far that might be. Oh, that's the station we saw before, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the Omni Wheel Station. But now we're underneath. That's convenient. Didn't need the powerless elevator, which I'm presuming is inside this structure. Can we get there? Yes, we can. No power. Well, that was to be expected, I guess. But that's not really impeding us because we can just walk around. Although, if we actually want to get to the Omni Wheel, we need to raise the elevator because of the gap. But since there's only the one wire, I'm assuming that whatever we need to do to power the Omni Wheel will also power the lift, so we're good there. What's this way? Oh, we can go down from here. Wait, what's this way then? It's a... oh. Just a view of whatever this is. Okay. I don't know. Guessing it has something to do with power, considering all the towers with blinking little red lights and the fact that the cables go here. Unless this is another thing that needs power. In which case, I don't know. All we can do is check it out. Hopefully we can get there through here. It's kind of nice that you can stand there and get a good overview of this. It can be helpful. What is in the water here? Guessing it's not lemonade. Man, St. Andrew was nice, but this place gives me the creeps. The mystery of this realm? I never understood it. Now, I see. And are you gonna tell us? Of course not. Uh, somehow what she's doing is um, less helpful than just not talking at all. It doesn't seem like this is the normal way of training keepers. We test. 115 volts. Yep, that's not right. This should be like what? What is it? 87? 89? I cannot remember the number from this right now. Um. Anyway, that's the power of the rocket ship. Okay, total voltage 25. That is significantly less than 115. And indeed, this does not seem to want to turn on. I'm guessing we need 115 volts to turn this on, and then we'll have power everywhere, and then we're, we're done. Everything's good. Can't get anywhere else from here, so 
Yeah. What is this? Um, let's see. We have the electricity wires going into this maze of pathways. So this wire goes here. And then it goes through here. And then the, the, that's connected, so it goes over there. Does it also go here? I guess it might. That's completing a circuit, I guess. That's glowing. I'm assuming that means something. No glowing thingies here. That one's not glowing. So, I'm assuming that means no power there. This bridge is painted green. As is this one. That one's blue. That one's yellow. That one's red. What does it all mean? Oh, I really like the how the waves are calmer inside the boundary than outside of it. That's actually a really, really nice detail. What are we doing with this? What do the sockets do? Total voltage 25. We knew that. Oh, we can rotate this. Alright, that doesn't seem useful. Now we can go nowhere. Just what I've always wanted. Um, rotate it back though. So we came from there, and now presumably this is connected through this wire to this thing, but it's not glowing. So that doesn't seem to do much. Excuse me? I want to get stuck there. Every single one of these is like, has like coils of copper on the bottom, almost like electromagnets. And is sticking into this unfriendly looking water. And right now it looks like we're making the shortest possible circuit. By going straight from there, across here. And then over there, which just gives us 25 volts. So I'm guessing what we we need to include more of these electrodes, maybe if that's what they are, in the circuit. So can we just make it as long as we as it can be? And is is that what we need to do? Oh, this won't rotate that way because there's already a bridge there. We care for our comrades. All right. That just goes on top of the existing bridge. I guess that's to make sure you can't trap yourself on there. Um. Wait. Now we're just going straight back to nothing. This isn't connected to anything. And there's no power, no glow at all. I'm assuming that means no power. No circuit. Yeah, okay. So we do need to get back to that one to complete the circuit. But presumably we need to do so 
with a longer circuit than just going straight there. That's kind of already what I said. But it seems even more likely now. Let's see how big we can make this circuit. No circuit. Yeah, because that's still not going back to where we need to. But let's see if we can just make, get this all to hook up in the biggest way possible. So that would be going through there, through the blue ones. I wonder what the significance of the colors is. Then... Uh, we want to include this one? I guess we do. Kind of can't right now because of how it's connected. Because uh, if I turn this bridge, then I can't get there. Oh, no, wait. Yes, I can. Do this. Oh, we can just go around the outside first, I guess. Come on. Turn you to the right. That's like kind of all on its lonesome right now. Um. Then hey, we should have a circuit again, do it, don't we? Yes, it's glowing. 125. That's too much. I'm feeling that that's the number we saw was not a minimum. Still no luck. Probably need to do this exactly 115. Let's see what we can do to make that happen. We kind of skipped a few places. wonder how high you can actually make this. Just out of curiosity. I've made this difficult on myself, haven't I? To find you that... And then... No, no, it's not too bad. Do that. And then that. Then we have the longest possible circuit. That's 150 volts, which is entirely unhelpful, but uh, at least we know the most we can make it. Which is pretty neat. But we clearly need a shorter one. But I don't know. Uh, oh! 150. Okay, I just took out this section and I got 115. Well, that worked out. Yeah, so this is kind of the problem with this particular puzzle. It's very easy to just kind of guess. We care for our world. I mean, this is a perfectly legitimate way to solve it, I think. It's what I did in my first playthrough. Just tried to make the longest one possible, so it was too much, made a random alteration to make it shorter, which was moving this bridge. And then I got 115 volts. Uh, what you also can do is uh, work out how much each of the, of the electrodes, if that's what they are, uh, contributes. Each color actually has a different amount of volts it adds. So if you can figure out what color is what, then you can simply do the math and figure out which you need to activate to get to 115. And then do that. And you're good.
but it's much more work than uh, just doing what I just did. Also, um, in the original version of the game, these wires between the center pole and the end of the bridge were not there. You were just kind of meant to infer that power would flow, would come in through the connector on this metal part and then flow to the end of the bridge, which isn't super obvious. I mean, if you just, if you uh, do it a few times with like moving the bridges and see what doesn't, doesn't make a circuit, it's like fairly clear that that's what's happening. I didn't really have a lot of problems with it when I first played the game, but um, I guess it was a pain point for a lot of people because they added those wires in a patch. I also do not remember if the glowy bits were there, which kind of are an extra indicator. But only if you already have a circuit, of course, because otherwise they just don't glow. But yeah, I don't don't remember if, if that was there. But now we are at 115 volts. So let's see. It worked! We have power! And green lights. And green lights going all the way up the uh, power line too, so presumably that should have at least powered the uh, the lift. Not sure if it would pro po uh, power the bunker because we are still disconnected there but, uh, on the door. There was no direct wire between the two. But uh, we'll deal with that when we get there. For now, we just need to walk back. Okay, so I'm guessing that this place provides power somehow. So Julson is their power source. Does the power does it provide power to other parts of the to other realms too? I don't know how that's supposed to work. If that's even a thing that's possible. I don't really know what else is the goal here. To have this giant contraption just to provide power to this one realm. And again, the other realms did have power. So, maybe this charges some kind of central battery. But does that work through those conveyance spots? I don't know. Should be able to take the lift here now. Curiousville was where they got ice, or water, I guess. But there's water here, too. And in... And in St. Andrew. Unless they brought it from Curiousville to here. I don't know. I'm just confused. St. Andrew is easy. They got food there. They got plants, they got food. Then... We were told Curiesville is where they got water. But I guess they can't use this water because of whatever it is they're dumping in it over there. We test. But what's wrong with the water in St. Andrew? Unless that water, like I said, came from Curiesville. But that seems like a weird way of doing things. Like, does that planet not have water of its own? Ooh, the pump has water. Has power. Power is what I meant. Acid holding vat full. Alright. Oh, is that what's in the water? It's acid, so it's a, like a battery, I guess. Battery acid. Got power to one half of the door. But the other side is still blinking red, so I'm guessing the bunker will still be a no-go. And unless I can... Uh, chain these together, I 
still don't think I can do anything here. That has to be the upgrade we're getting here, considering there's only three, and we've gotten one in every realm so far. But we can now also reach the Omni Wheel. Which will take us to the arch, I guess. Wait, was that it? Is that all we need to do to get to the arch here? Compared to all the stuff we had to go through in, uh... In St. Andrew and Curieville, that's fairly easy. And I guess that puzzle would have, uh taken me more time if I hadn't just stumbled on the solution. No other places to go with the Omni Wheel here either. Only had the one choice. Same story, different realm. This looks exactly like we've already seen. And again, um, three paths. And no, there's nothing on the side paths here either. They're exactly the same as everywhere else. So, don't need to show you that. Up we go. architecture is very similar to the swan. wonder if this pattern represents anything. Or this. Whatever this is. Don't know. No uh, Kadish Chalisa hints hiding in place plain sight here that I know of. Alright, and as expected, we can upgrade our ad adjunct. And we have another uh, test thing for concatenated socketing. There's three of them. Cannot reach that one because the grate is in the way, but I guess we can by concatenating them together. Can we just start with that one? Yes, one of three. Can't verify. And now it will let us go there. But we can't go to that one. Presumably because the... Because the... Fence is in the way? Oh, it goes back one at a time too. That's good to know. So, let's start there then. Now we have all three. Verify. And it worked. Okay, now we can concatenate sockets. Exciting. Oh, and of course, we have a... <laughs> I won't keep wanting to call it like a safe spot, but uh, it's at just adding a, dr adding a place. It's not really a save, considering you can just save in the menu. Um, and the same stuff here. A different colored ribbons tied to the fence.
Gotta stick to the color scheme of the realm, I guess. Let's open the shutters. Layout seems similar to um, to St. Andrew, but it's I don't think it's exactly the same. I'm also very reminded of uh, the Selenitic Age here, with the water in the middle <laughs> and then the island also surrounded by water. Lots more stuff over there that I don't think we can get to. All in all, the pollution of the water is not too bad. It seems to be loca localized in that spot. I guess that is acid they're dumping in there. But we can now raise the spire. As always. Why does this have the same, like, glowy lights that the conveyance bot does? And that's three! Now what? We've, we've done what you wanted us to, can you tell us what, explain what's next? I don't know. We can get to this tower, because there's bridges going there. Besides the underwater bridge, which, by the way, is lined up with... ...the arch, by the looks of it. Is it actually? It might be. Or it's slightly off, but couldn't quite tell. What is this? Looks like those are like cranks or something, but... Not quite. Okay, let's see if we can actually get to this tower. Maybe that's what we need to do. We do now have all three upgrades, so that uh, might be helpful. Yeah, we can see on the right now, all three symbols are there. There's only one other place we can go here, which is the reservoir. Alright, convey us there, please. Faster than taking the Omni Wheel. Why even have the Omni Wheel? When you can just take the conveyance pod. Unless the conveyance pod links intra age were added later. Um. We are the keepers. Let's see, we can get to it. No, we could do that in... Um, we could do that in uh, Curieville 2. It didn't really help us. And indeed, we can't get inside it or anything. In fact, we can't we can't use the platform to cross the other bridges anymore either. So you've actually just made our life harder. Thanks. Um which I guess means I need to 
go the other way, actually, from here. Can't go there. Still can't hold my breath long enough to see where that staircase goes. This is useless now, because it looks like it's the same deal, and yeah, can no longer get to the other bridges. You just have to complicate my life, have you? don't you? Fortunately, the existence of that lift here will mean we can still get to the big door. Oh, it's not here. I have to call the lift. There we go. Omni will not hear either at the moment. That's not a big problem, though. It's not where we were going. I wonder about this tower. What is the point of it? It's right underneath the arch, and they've made getting to it very difficult. I guess we'll see if we can get into uh, that door in the next video.